Right, we'll start unpacking an 858 backpack system. We do the latches on the case, hold down the lid to flip the latches back, raise the lid, the lid stops with a hinges. The manual is on one side, you can take it out to make room. And then we just open the flaps, left flap, right flap. Half the flap, and now we can take the console out of the console pouch. Strips, pull the console out, set it down, pull the flap towards you, and now we have access to the console and the and the backpack frame. Support the console with one hand so that we don't drop it. Raise the frame from the right side and lift it vertical. Put the frame down, put the console on top of the frame. Now we can close the flaps to make room to get at the other components. The staff sections and counterweights are packed on top of and perhaps a bit behind the flaps, the back of the case. There are three long sections, one short section of staff, and one counterweight. The battery is stored in the center section of the pouch. Grab the battery by the handle after we open the pouch and remove the battery. There are two other pouches that have other accessories that we don't need at this moment. Let's rest and close the box. And we'll take the box aside. So kind as to close the box now. Set it up here. Okay. Now begins the assembly. We'll stand the cart up, the backpack up. And the first step is to install the battery because the battery acts as a bit of a counterweight and keeps the uh, backpack stable as we're assembling the rest of the components. Lift the case catches, lift them towards you, open the case, the battery slides in, the battery, uh, the battery cut out, lift the battery handle up, and watch your fingers, it's a little heavy. Have to fold the cable such that we can connect the cable parts and keep the cable from getting pinched. The cable has connectors that have to be lined up. There's a key on the outside and a white spot on the other connector on the outside. And they line up and just push together until the white spot is opposite the key. We'll fold this up. Make sure that's inside. Catches, now the battery's installed. Next step is to is to assemble the staff. So the staff pieces go together.
fastened with uh, thumb screws. Front section. Take this strap. Strap is clipped on to the counterweight. We're going to set up the GPS antenna and the strap clamp, or the strap, the strap uh, fixture. And the strap fixture goes with the, with the open end outboard of the, of the, the backpack. The GPS, loosen the screws for the GPS. Once the screws are loosened, you can gently slide the GPS tube out of the bracket, turn it around, and lift it and put it in the bracket. Right side up. And if you want a little extra clearance so that you don't touch your head on the on the GPS pole, you can take this mounting screw out of the bracket, turn the bracket 90 degrees, and put the screw back through the other set of holes. And this gives you a little more clearance for your head and shoulders. Turn that back 90 degrees. Turn the staff, 180, and the strap goes in the little bracket. Counterweight goes aft, in other words, on the same side of the backpack as the battery box. And we're going to take the sensor out of, out of the uh, case. and mount the sensor on the front of the staff. Excuse me. So we may shoot this a little second to show where the sensor is. The sensor removed from the case. At this particular location, the correct orientation for the sensor is vertical, not tipped to one side or the other. So we're going to mount the sensor on the end of the staff. Line things such that The sensor is naturally in a, in a vertical position, and then we tighten the sensor clamp to keep the sensor in place. The sensor cable gets located with the supplied Velcro strips and cable clamps. I generally just use the Velcro strips, but for long-term deployments, you may want to use the cables, the cable straps. Use that just yet. 
we want to we want to fit the cable with the, the supplied mounting materials such that the cable is held close to the staff and is not likely to get snagged on brush. A single sensor connects to the front port of the magnetometer. It's an aluminum colored uh, metal connector. The sensor cable has keys around the outside of its connector. There's one wide key and four, four narrow keys. The wide key faces the front of the instrument. And you just gently put the cable next to the connector until it clicks in place. Don't use much force. And then turn the locking ring, only turn the locking ring to mate the connector and you turn the ring until it goes click. There should not be any force applied to the cable or connector while the system's in use. Uh, if, uh, if, if force uh, is, is applied to the connector or to the cable, it will shorten the life. Well, so now, we've, uh, now we've got the system assembled. We're ready to turn it on. First step is to turn on the switch on the back on the battery box at the back of the backpack. The battery switch turns on power to the GPS only. It does not have any effect on the magnetometer. Depress the power button on the magnetometer and wait for the magnetometer to start. Uh, following this, we can go through the magnetometer startup and checkout procedure. And this is uh, 858 backpack packing. Open the case. We'll make sure that our, our small compartments are closed up. And I'm going to open the, the main cushion to make the room to fit the backpack. If you'll be so kind as to hold this cushion up so it doesn't fall in. The backpack fits with the GPS and sensor clamps to the right and the battery box to the left. So the backpack, put the, the battery box part of the backpack in first, slide it all the way to the left side, gently drop the right side until and making sure that the clamp fittings miss the box and uh, and slide just inside the uh, cover. Lift up the magnetometer console. Fold over the front packing material. Slide the console in the pocket. Use Velcro straps to keep the console in the pocket. Fold down the front cover, do up the Velcro, fold over the side covers, do up the Velcro, insert the battery into the center pocket only. There's a note that says to store the battery in the middle case only, that's the center black pocket. Battery drops in the pocket. Fold the cable on top of the battery without any kinks and close the top Velcro flap to keep the battery in place. The right hand case or pocket holds the sensor. If there are any cables in that case, temporarily remove them. Put the sensor down in the case and coil the sensor cable being taken care of not to kink the cable. You have to coil it fairly tightly and fit the cable without kinks into the case. 
make sure that nothing's pinched, nothing is kinked, and then there should be a little bit of room to fit any other cables that came out of that case to fit the sensor back inside the case. Finally, close the Velcro strap. And now that we have that in the case, we can grab the manual set, if you have a manual set, and put the manual set down the side next to the battery pack. Make sure everything fits. The staff pieces and the counterweight go in, in the box behind the magnetometer containing the material. Make sure that everything is packed such that it won't rattle and nothing can move very much. And we can close the case cover. Make sure that no, cable, no parts, bags, or cables are, are keeping the cover from shutting. And do up the latches. Now the instrument is ready for storage or transportation.